In this first step, we're going to start by turning down the front face of the part. To do this, I'm just going to select the front face of the part, right mouse button click, and choose Roughing from the Turning section of my contextual menu. Once I do this, Top Solid is going to generate what we call the spun profile. Here it's going to calculate the real turning profile automatically for you. Depending on the part complexity, it may take a second or two, but now we have it. Now here it also chose a neutral tool in my B-axis upper turret because why not? We haven't done any operations yet, it doesn't know really what we want. So here what I'm going to do is change to our lower turret, and I'm going to choose this first tool. Now that I have the tool selected, I'm going to click my tool button here. I'm going to flip this down a little bit so we can see. And now you can see a preview of the tool path coming in. Next, I'm going to change my depth of cut. Maybe I want to take a 30,000 step to cut. Nice. Just double click, make the setting change, let the tool path regenerate. Maybe I only want to leave 10,000 to finish later. Cool. Again, double click, make the change, let the tool path regenerate. Let's go set some feeds and speeds as well. Here, for example, I want to work in constant surface feet. So I'm going to say I'm going to work at 750 surface feet and how about a 15,000 chip load. And I'm going to set my maximum spindle speed for this to be maybe 3,000 in this case. And like that, my roughing is now complete. The next step is to let the software go into a simulation mode. And here you can see we've indexed the turret and we're bringing that forward and you can see the first roughing cut is complete.